Hi guys, welcome to CA Final SCMP. We are trying to be solving every possible MCQ which is there in your module. But of course, with the logic, with explanations, with our own kind of concepts that will be helpful not only to solve those questions, but also to be solving any other question that I say might be coming up. Mind you to tell you that if you all have not subscribed, subscribe to our channel. You'll be getting complete playlists of all the MCQs of uh, CA final SMP. But apart from that, your uh, CA inter costing and CA inter FM. Now the chapter that we all have selected is strategic performance measures in private sector. Now this chapter deals with many things, some concepts like balance scorecard, performance pyramid, triple bottom line, okay, and so on. Let's see what we all have today. So therefore today's question is what? ROI return on investment is dash measure and leads to dash. Get me the four options, please. Relative. The second fill in the blank optimization. Okay. Second relative sub optimization. Third, uh, absolute and optimization. Last option in this case is absolute and sub optimization. If you all know the answer, this is the time to be commenting below with the correct one. Okay, so your time is over. Let's go over to the explanation. First of all, what do you mean by ROI? ROI is nothing but return on investment. Think that there is a manager, Mr. A. He heads division A. He is divisional manager of division A. His name is also Mr. A. Now, one of the things in corporates that you have to be doing, you have to be trying to motivate your managers. How do you do that? One of the options for that is you want to be finding how much return on investment the division makes. So therefore, we are saying this, that this manager, Mr. A, who heads division A, he will be measured or his performance will be measured based upon the ROI that his division earns. Okay. Suppose we try to be saying, if suppose the ROI of your division is more than say 10%, just a number. Okay. Then, for every 1% increase beyond 10%, we will give you 1 lakh rupees as bonus. So try to be thinking what Mr. A will be doing. He will always like to accept those particular projects which give him higher ROI. So how do you compute your ROI? It's simple beta ROI is nothing but return upon investment. Now the basic objective for us to be finding out the ROI is obviously how much return his department has generated. Now in the formula that you all see returns means profit. Profit is nothing but sales minus cost. So try to think that every manager who is evaluated based upon ROI like Mr. A, he will always have three, three things in mind. First, sir, increase the sales. Second, decrease the cost. Automatically return will increase. Other thing, reduce the investment. So let's try to be seeing a practical example that what happens when a manager is evaluated based upon ROI. Let's see. Now one information that I have written will not be of use in this MCQ, but might be of use in some other MCQ. Cost of capital of the company KO that you'll have done in CA Inter FM is supposed 10%. Not relevant for me, but I've written this because this might be coming in some other MCQ where this example will again fit in. So try to be thinking Mr. A, is currently running division A. He is the divisional manager. How do you compute his ROI return divided by investment? Currently, currently, currently division A, currently division A has return of 150. Investment is 1000. So therefore 150 upon 1000 current ROI is how much percent beta 15%. He is thinking that let me expand. He wants to introduce another product, something that we were not doing before, but he wants to be doing it now. So therefore, let me call this as a proposed new project. Okay. So therefore, he's thinking to be accepting this. But then do remember that he's evaluated based upon ROI. So therefore, he would only be interested if his ROI will be rising because we are evaluating his division based upon ROI. So let me bring you the details of this new project. This new project, or I'll call that thing as a proposed project, will be giving return of 240. 
Investment for that will be 2000. Investment means investment in fixed assets and working capital. Okay. Let's divide it. That will bring you 12%. So currently you are enjoying 15%. Beta. If you accept a new project, which will only give you a return of 12%, your overall ROI of the department after accepting the proposal will be falling. No. Uh, let me compute the numbers. So therefore total. So 150 plus 240 will be 390. Investment totally will be 3000 ROI will be falling down from 15% to 13%. If you were there in place of Mr. A, what will you be doing? Sir, I would be rejecting this proposal. Why? Because ROI will be falling from 15 to 13%. That's what Mr. A did. But try to be thinking whatever he did, it was good for him for sure. It was good for him for sure. Why? Because he's evaluated based upon ROI. Okay. And the ROI, his division, ROI of his division is falling from 15% to 13% if he accepts this proposal. But if you try to be having a broader thinking from company's angle, this new proposal, which gives you ROI of 12% is still very profitable. Why? Because cost of capital of the company is only 10%. If I try to be saying from your CA inter FM point of view also, the IRR on this project, okay, something like your ROI is 12%, whereas cost of the funds is only 10%. So from company's angle, this proposal is good. But from divisional angle, this proposal is bad and hence will be rejected. So coming back to the question now, ROI is a dash measure and leads to. Now, ROI is a percentage measure, right? It is basically used wherever you want to be comparing two divisions which are of different sizes because we try to bring them to a same base of 100. In that case, it is used. But most often or not that you all saw in my last example, Mr. A would like to reject that proposal, which is good for the company, but not for his own evaluation. So therefore it leads to sub optimization. Sub optimization means company will not be able to optimize its assets properly because it will be rejecting this proposal. So out of the four options answer over here should be B that is relative and uh, sub optimization. Yeah, that's the correct one. I'll see you all next time with another MCQ. Bye. Take care.